Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. We're continuing the news, Giovanni. Thanks so much, Janela. In this evening's health report, Shamala Pullen looks at infant mortality. The infant mortality rate is on the decline. The head of a pediatric unit at the St. Anne's Bay Hospital, Dr. Carly Antoine, says doctors have seen a 65% reduction at the medical facility. This, Dr. Antoine attributes to the neonatal intensive care unit established 11 years ago, which she says has been saving lives. Initially, uh we have a neonatal mortality rate in the 20s, 2021, 20, uh, deaths per thousand births. And currently, under the current circumstances where we are able to offer comprehensive care here with the specialized equipment that we have here in our HDU, we have seen a significant fall in that rate to 4.5 per thousand births as of 2021. Typically, babies born with problems like heart and birth defects, jaundice and respiratory issues end up on the neonatal ward. So these breathing problems may be as a result of complications of labor and delivery. It may be due to infections or it may be due to the fact that a premature baby's lungs are not fully developed. So they're not able to adequately you know, um, have adequate respiration to keep their oxygen levels in the normal range to dispose of their carbon dioxide, their waste gases. So they need support, ventilatory support to help, uh, you know, with adequate respiration. Um, they also may be infections that are on board that, that may require an infant to be admitted for treatment of infection with antibiotics. With this care available in the region, babies who are extremely sick no longer have to be transferred to other institutions. Those, those units um, behind me are the isolation rooms. So we, so along with the six. Uh bed high dependency neonatal unit that we have here we're standing in one of those cubicles we also have in addition in the hdu building on the neonatal side two isolation rooms that have negative pressure ventilation and the aim is to have zero mortality rate but like most health facilities more resources are needed with your health report i'm shamela pullen wishing you good health